Okay, so for this tutorial, I thought we would go through a couple different ways that you can convert PNG or JPEG files to SVGs to get some layers out of them. So I'm going to try. I'm going to give you all free options because I know a lot of people don't have Adobe Illustrator, which is um, one of the better ways to do it. But there are a couple free options that I have found online. So I'm just going to give you three different ways here. So I'm going to show you first. Let's just pick a graphic here. So I'm just going to go into Pixabay because these are all free, but I'm just going to go into oops, something. Let's do a dog. And the easiest way for these to be turned into vector graphics is to have illustrations already. Um, so I'm going to change this to illustrations and then one that has pretty contrasting colors. So things like this that have a ton of different colors, you're going to get a lot of different scans. Because so what it does is it scans every color that's in there. You can also do it by um, brightness and things like that, but you'll be working with a ton of layers. So we're just going to go in and grab, um, let's say this little dog here. You can see he's pretty good, got some good contrast, maybe about you know four or five colors here. So I'm going to click on him and download. He's all JPEG, but very similar for the JPEG and the PNGs. I'm just going to click on download. Okay, so the first place I am going to go is to Inkscape. So Inkscape is a free software that you can find online if you just go to inkscape.com and you can download it for the type of computer you have. So this is similar to like Adobe Illustrator. So it's a free version, um, not quite as powerful, but it does a lot of the same stuff. So I'm just going to open a new document and I don't use Inkscape. I use Adobe Illustrator. Like I said, it's pretty similar. And so I'm just going to show you a way in the software that's free. So we're going to come up to file up here and we're going to go to open and I am going to find, I'm going to change this to all images here and my downloads here and I'm going to click on that animal and click it to open. So from here I am going to actually click on smooth to optimize the quality and I'm going to click OK. And you'll see he comes in like this, just one image. He's got that white background. So we're just going to do a couple things with him to be able to convert him. So I'm actually just going to right click on him. And under here it says trace bitmap. So we're going to hit trace bitmap and you'll get this these menus up here. So this is just something you can play with and to get what you want it to do. So on the single scan you can get it and it will do just all in black. So this is the preview that it gives you of what these scans will do. So over here I'm going to go into multicolor. So you can do it in a couple different ways. You can do it in brightness steps. I'm going to go into colors. And so you can see it's going to do in different colors. And right now it is set to eight colors. So I'm going to reduce this down to about where I see the colors start disappearing. So I'm going to leave that on five. So on five scans here. And then you can select. Um, and then I'm going to up the smooth corners. I want it kind of as smooth as it's going to get. And we'll optimize it a little bit. Um, so all these things you're just going to have to play around with. This is kind of in live update, so sh it should kind of show me exactly what it's doing. And for this one, I don't actually want to remove the background because that removes the white from inside of it. So I'm just going to keep the background because it will become a layer anyway. So now I'm going to hit apply and that actually changes this. But if I click on this and move it, you'll see the original image is still there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that image off. Okay, so now here, just to show you if we go into the layers panel, which is this first panel, and click on this, there's one, two, three, four, five, five different paths. So those are all the different layers 
that are in this. So we can see that some of this did not copy real well. I'm just going to, oops, do it down. I'm going to do it one more time with a couple different settings and we'll see how different it looks. So we're going to go to open this again. Okay, again, we're going to go to that trace bitmap. I'm going to go to multicolor. I'm going to turn on smooth here. And I'm going to turn on stack. Oops, I'm going to go change this to colors and again go down to about five colors. Smooth the corners. Optimize it a little bit more and click apply. Okay, so again, I'm going to click off that back one. Okay, so you can see here, um, again, let's go to our layers. You can click on the individual layers now and move them out of the way. So you can see now that they're pr pretty smooth and that there's the four different layers there. Okay, so I am going to save this. We're going to do dog inkscape and save it as an SVG. And I just wanted to, okay, so here's the other one. Let's just save this one and see what this one looks like when we didn't have that smooth on. So you can see already that it has all these little <clears throat> things when you don't have that bl blur and stack on that we'd have to get rid of. So definitely, like I said, kind of play around with the settings, but much better when we have the second set with the blur and the stack. Okay, so we're going to close this. So... And the second way we're going to do it is there's a website called svgtrace.com and we are going to upload that same image here. Okay, and so what this does is it picks two colors already. And with this eyedropper we can go in and pick the other colors of the layers we want. So I want those colors. It already has the black. I want the white of the inside. I want these lighter colors. And then I want those. The gray I actually don't want, which is this layer under here. So I'm actually going to delete the gray. So one, two, three, four, five. So this should do five different colors for me. I'm going to the smoothness again and I'm going to simplify some curves um, just to make sure every's, everything is good and then I'm going to hit convert. Okay so it's already done. I'm going to hit export and download the SVG. Okay so I'm going to do another one. This one is PNG to SVG. So we are going to do this one. Again, we're going to upload the file. So I just wanted to do a couple different ones and bring them into Design Space so you can see kind of the differences of them. So this one, it already converted. I'm just going to hit download. And then I just want to rename these so I know what they are. Okay, so the last one I wanted to show you is Adobe. Actually, it has a free convert PNG to SVG that you don't have to have a membership to use. So it looks like this, free online converter. We're going to do the same thing as upload our file. And grab this animal here. Okay, and this doesn't give us any options of how it 
does anything. It does it all on its own. So I'm going to click on download. Okay, and then we're just going to do dog Adobe so we know what's going on. Okay, so now let's go into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so on a canvas, I'm going to click on upload. So I'm going to click upload image and browse. So let's just start with the Inkscape one. So this is the one that had all those different layers. I'm going to open this and then just click on upload. Okay, so let's add this one to the canvas. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so you can see we have the different layers here. So this is the white layer. That because the dog was white, um, that is going to be not white. So we might have to slice that out. So this one, the Inkscape gives you just those slices. Oh, come on. Doo -doo. Oh, we need to ungroup it. Okay, so it gives you all, kind of it just slices it right through. So we have all these layers that we would put on top of each other to put the dog together. Okay, but they're pretty good cuts around and you would know, you know, all three. Layer. So depending on your image, that works great because it makes some very clean, nice, clean layers that you can use. So that one was with Inkscape. So let's upload the second one that we did. And this was from that SVG to trace. So we're going to upload this, click on it, add it to canvas again. Okay, so it's, this one comes in actually a little oops, separated here. So I'm going to ungroup it. So it has the white layer there behind it. And it has the black. So this one has, you know, the cuts aren't exactly really smooth on it. Um, but it's one you can definitely play around with. Like these come out really clean. This guy comes out pretty clean. But anything that's touching each other comes out um, a little bit blurry. So if we had an image that everything was totally separate and very a lot of contrast, then that SVG trace would actually work really well. Okay, let's move this one down. We'll upload the next one. So this is the one from PNG to SVG. Let's upload this guy. So this one comes in with a whole lot. Okay, a whole lot of layers here. You can see all of them through here. But the one thing nice about this, let's go and ungroup him. I can move the white out. I don't want the background and delete it. Actually, so for all of these, I don't want any of these layers here. So I can delete all of these layers here. I can delete that off. Um, the black. Okay, so I'm going to move the black out of the way. Okay, so the white actually comes out pretty nice. And then these ones... Some of them come apart real well. There's a lot of couple extra scans. So we would take that. So the hearts are pretty good. So again, not horrible. Um, you can get, again, the silhouette really nice and clean to cut it. The heart's pretty clean. Things like that.
Okay, let's just move that over. So let's do the last one, the Adobe one. It says it's a big image. We're going to upload that and add this to Canvas. Okay, so again, this one is kind of similar to that last one in that it does everything separately here. So let's ungroup this. Again, we can cut off that white one. These hearts are really nice though. We have that white pretty good there. The black is still separated. And let's take out. So there's quite a few little pieces in here we'd need to clear away. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. Let me move the brown. Black. So there's lots of little pieces in here. Um, I'm trying to just get to that. I just click on the panel. It leaves all of those. The white over there. So there's just some cleanup work to do when you're using any of these. I'm going to delete that off. Okay, so you can see these come apart in the chunks and then we'd have to go and kind of put them back together um, and just to use our welding function to attach them again. But you get all those separate little areas there and you just have to kind of clean up and at some point we get down to the main thing. These, um, Okay, so then you kind of have to delete all these off. Okay, that's just kind of another way to get some layers here. Okay, so really depending, there's always going to be a little bit of cleanup and it's going to depend on how clean your images are. Okay, so ones that have a lot of contrast to them are going to be your best bet. But those are kind of the free ways to do it, to get into those layers and bring them in. You will just have to kind of, as I mentioned, clean those up once you bring them in there. But um, definitely the Inkscape works well. And then um, the SVG trace, I think, works pretty well, too. Okay, so I hope to kind of that helped you really just have to kind of play around with the softwares once you find one that you like. Just kind of play around with the different images and different type of layers that you can get. And um, anyway, I hope that helped getting you started. Thanks so much for stopping by.